greetings and salutations here I'm going to discuss building building mechanics oops press the wrong button here I'm going to discuss building mechanics and what I want to share with you is is basically um, three fundamental types the audio is too loud let me get in here and um, configure some of the, the settings it's just blasting me right now there we go okay there we go there we go so I'm gonna I'm in single player mode and I switched to admin because the purpose of this video is not to you know craft craft the materials the purpose is to kind of get into a generalization of um, building some of the building types I have I have a couple of friends that just recently started playing and so I want to um, I want them to be able to watch this kind of guide overview and um, and how it works so I'm gonna just I just jumped into admin and typed in building and I'll just go stone just to kind of and I'm gonna summon um, if I hold down control and admin it'll hold I'm sorry is it shift yeah, it's, it's shift. It'll summon a hundred of them. So I'm just going to summon a hundred wedges and a hundred square foundations because these are the, these are the two corner pieces of, of your building. And I'll go brick, right? Brick. And then, so we have, we'll get a hundred of these. Okay. And then we need a hundred, uh, stone brick. Oh, that's a wall. I clicked on the wrong one. And then we'll go re for reinforce stone. Okay. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. So we have hundred of those and a hundred of these. And I'll get I'll get the walls too. Where are the walls? Just so you could see. Just so you could see. I don't see the walls. I know they're here. There they are. Okay. And we're gonna go while we're here, we're gonna go one door frame. A little couple door frames. Okay. So as far as foundations go, um, there's a couple ways to cheese the system, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this really simple and I'm not gonna get into like ceiling tiles on top of, with adding foundations and all the other crazy stuff. I just want to explain the difference in tier one, tier two, and tier three, and uh, how to basically place place the blocks. So you get a little lower because I want you to see. So in front of me, you see that you see that overlay. I'm getting the shadow right here. You see that gold overlay right there. You know, and recently they released uh, Conan. Um, was it Unconquered? And they they have green for their when you build stuff. It does the green overlay, and I I feel like both games should share the same um, share the same um, ghosting mechanic. So you have you have a square, right? And do you see how it, it automatically snaps next to it? And that's a big proponent of how to build is you have to get these things to snap. Now, if I come over here and separate it, uh, you know, I can hold down the uh, hold down the, sh the shift key and I can raise and lower it. Okay. And then if I hold down control, I can spin it. And then if I hold down alt, what does alt do again? Alt 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 rotates it in its own. Um, like changes the angle of it, where control, control, control spins it. I guess alt spins it too. I thought thought they were different somehow. Okay, so then you have wedges, right? And so one of the things that you have to be careful with is when you line when you align them up. See how it snaps? Well, if I just build here, I'll show you an example. If I just build this right here and I build it like this, that doesn't guarantee that it snaps. It, it, it didn't even connect right here in the in the piece nor did it line up so whenever you build something you have to build it and you can see where I, if i tried to snap it to the first one it won't it won't fit no more so this first block is kind of like it's just messed up so you're not going to get any of your building foundations or any of that stuff to work out and so it's always important to have a um a keystone I, th I think that's a good way of explaining it. So when you build your structure, like you build your megalith structure, you know, your, your Taj Mahal or your, you know, 6,000 piece building, you have to think about 
you have to have one stone, right? One stone to rule them all. Uh, you have to have one stone. And you might even have to go like, well, let's say you know your building is going to go over here and into the creek and into the river. You might have to be like, okay, well, my centerpiece is going to be in the river. So I have to, I have to lower this thing into the water just where it's underneath the water because this is where my basement's going to be and I want I want my fountain to be in the basement just to kind of give you some some depth here and so you like your keystone would be right here and then you would build all the way up all the way up all the way up the side of the cliff face and then uh you know over here and then all of this would be connected you'd have to snap start from that bottom stone down there and then snap them all the way up up the side of the mountain and then over here and you know and it could be the same for a drawbridge let's say your your drawbridge is your key, uh, keystone and if you build you want a drawbridge on your structure you're gonna have to build the drawbridge first and you're gonna have to align those those um, pieces up and how you want that drawbridge to work and then build from there and I, that's a little bit more in depth than I wanted to get but that's I figured it, uh, I think it's important to talk about it while I'm kind of explaining the, the, the more fundamental simple stuff because it's really easy to get away from uh, having st stuff not line up correctly like this is so as as a um, core fun let me get with the grasses as a core kind of me mechanic so you just raise it up how you want it and as a simple structure we're just going to keep it with a simple structure so you have right at, at the simplest kind of structure you can build is you can just do a four by four and then you can uh let me get into admin i should have i should have summoned some stone walls admin right building and then this that definitely does not say stone i need to go get some my coffee i haven't gotten my coffee yet today we get a couple doors. Let's do let's do some ceiling panels, um, and some stone walls. Okay. Now there's there's a couple of ways, and let's also do we got to do the 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 we got to do the um, oh it's roof that's what it is. Okay, so you have. Um, the thatch, your thatch roof is like your tier one, your tier run, the tier one roof. And the way, the way to kind of, here we go. There's a couple ways. I don't need a lot of these. I'm just going to do, you know, and you have to figure out these, the geometric shapes to get it to where, um, to where they fit. And so I'm, I'm going to really, I'm only going to build this one tier one building. I'm not going to get into all the, um, like build separate buildings for, for everything. I just want to show kind of a uh, fundamental um, building concept. So, and you know, and then in this design, we're not using, I thought I'd equip that. Then this design, we're not using any, um, we're not going to, we're just using, you know, these four blocks. And then, you know, you crafty some, you know, put a, which ways is facing now something to, when you, to be cognizant of is when you when you build your your walls you can see there's a ghost and it says outer face and if you rotate your mouse wheel it flips it around so it says outer face and so if I do it again over here and let me I'll, I'll go outer face but I'll turn it the opposite direction so do you see how the the framing is on the outside so it's important that you you your outer face like the O is always on the left because you can get them, um, you can waste a lot of materials. And sometimes we, like you'll place four of them and all of a sudden the, the outer face will flip, like it'll snap backwards and you'll drop that piece and you'll waste all those refined materials. So you, all you got to do is you just come up to it and you press E and you select d uh, dismantle. Right, but one really important thing is, let's say I want to dismantle this, and I'm just I'm that little dot in the center of the screen. If I'm not if I'm not where I'm supposed to be, or if there's something behind it, sometimes you'll dismantle the foundation or a thrall wheel. So you need to be super careful. 
So that's what a door frame looks like. And now I'm going to put four. See how it says outer face? And I can rotate the mouse wheel. So outer face, the O is always to the left. Okay, and I'm just going to snap, snap four of those around. Or it's five. Okay. Okay. And then now, now I'm going to do the, um, the thatched roof. Okay. And this is the uh, simp like your simplest. Uh, and I rotate the rotate the mouse wheel, right? And I rotate the mouse wheel. Why are you not? Why are you acting up? And so the roofs and ceilings can be can be very um, tricky sometimes. Um, I notice they're they're the most problematic in some of the building designs. And there you have have a fundamental building. So. There's something I want to share with you, though. Um, you always want to you always want to put the door on last because the door can cause problems with ceiling tiles and and roof uh, roof pieces. Um, for whatever reason, if you put the door on and then you would try to snap the ceiling above it, it won't it won't work ninety like it it, it just won't snap. So the door always goes on last. So I need to make I need to summon a couple doors. Um, okay, we're just right here. Simple, simple door, right? Okay, and then all you do is you take your door and put it in. Okay, and then you just it'll snap into place. See how it it doesn't it doesn't want to go anywhere else, and then um, I, it, it'll just snap into place. And then you can rotate it too. And when you rotate the door, what you're doing is you're basically um, saying which way do I want the door to open up and like realistically I'd want the door to open up on I want it to be hinged on the right because it's up against this wall so if I press E see how see how it hinged to the right so when I come in here I'm able to just turn right away and go in into the building because if it was hinged on this side the door would be blocking my structure so this this is a simple your simple tier one building okay so let me let me make a hammer real quick I want to show you I want to show you another mechanic and this is kind of the like pushing back the veil per se you know seeing seeing um, some some of the the relevance uh, okay so. So if I hit, if I equip a hammer, and really a hammer is is for um, a hammer doesn't do anything except for repair damaged materials, and then it gives you information about the building structure. So this is a it says repair a sandstone foundation, and it, to repair it, it says it needs it says seven slash zero. So so right now. It, it needs zero on the right is what it needs to be repaired. And it, it's it's not broken, so it doesn't need anything. So it says zero. It says stability is 100%. And the stability is how it determines if something can be stacked on top of it. Because it, it, stability goes in 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And 100 means that you can, you can do whatever you want to it. When it gets to 40 and 20... You start having issues snapping ceiling panels and uh, walls and whatnot. So you can't close close the loop on the and see as we go up. Now watch we get to the the the, the thatched roof. See how it says stability seventy five. Now it's one of those things where uh, if if we were to build make this bigger and make this thatch roof, let's say, two layers, so it was more of a pyramid, this, this would go down to 35. And we might have issues closing this up. Okay, so that's, that's your basic kind of understanding of, so tier one, it has 7,000 hit points, right? 7,000 hit points. So now we're going to do, I'm just going to put off to the side here, a um, tier two um building structure right so tier two and i know i put some walls okay and i'm not going to build the whole building again because that's this, this video is not not about 
buildings. It's about um, it's about kind of the mechanics of this is a tier two building piece. And you can see when I come up to it, it has 50,000 hit points. And so when I, when I say tier two, what that means is um, the game is built around the refinement of materials, and then those refined materials make your uh, a, a higher tier item. So not only, you know, like we've cut this tree down, it gives you wood. Okay, that wood is a tier one resource. So I have to make it a tier two resource in order to make it a tier two uh, end item, our building material. So I would have to turn it into shaved wood, which is a tier two wood resource. Right here it says shaved wood. And brick, brick is a tier two um, stone and, and uh, the reinforced iron is a tier two because, uh, you know, you have iron and then you have reinforced iron, which is the tier two piece of this. So it um, just to kind of shape your understanding of how and same thing with tier three. So for tier three, I would I would need reinforced brick, which is, you know, it, it takes significantly a more um, refining more processes in the you know, so you have to you know make more components and then more combination opponents to get to the a tier three piece and and so but you see it has it jumped up significantly to fifty thousand hit points so this has seven this has fifty thousand and so all the same mechanical rules apply to tier two and tier one you just it's significantly more resource heavy and um, and then you so same principles about flipping, you know, roll the mouse wheel. You always want the O to your, if you're on the outside of the structure, you always want the O to your left, right? And I'm just going to box this in so you can see where the inside looks a little nicer, like a little, a little bit more refined, a little, a little, um, and then, uh, but same, same, everything else is the same. It's just the refinement, the materials required. And the the um, the cost, but the hit points are significant. Now, another piece I haven't talked about is the decay timer. So this says that this is going to decay in fifty nine hours and thirty six seconds. So what's what's relevant about that is you have to close the loop on these in order to um, because when, when I say a closed loop, what I'm saying is go back to seven. And you'll see it probably added some time. Nope. So if I close the loop, I'll get the full 168 days. Let's see if this did it. Okay, 59. So now I'll put a ceiling tile in there. Did I make a ceiling tile? Yeah, I'll just use a tier one ceiling tile. And you can mix and match too. You don't have to be, um, okay, there. I close the loop. But I use a, a, a tier one ceiling tile. Why is this not? Why is this not? Maybe I have to have a door. Let me see. Maybe I have to have a door. There's there's something. There's something. Uh, it's not. It's not factoring in here. So I'll go to demol demolish right, and see how it kicked out the. Um, put a door in. The five is a door. And I want to ro see, I, it's rotate it, make sure the O is on the left. Okay, and then I'll, I'll place the door. Okay, so now it should say the full 168. Now I went to 79. That's interesting. So, it, so to get it to the full 168, that one said 65. I wonder why it's not. Usually, whenever you complete the structure, it goes to, um, maybe it's a minimum number of foundations. Let's just build this out. We'll just build this out. I wanna I wanna see what okay, it'll probably work now. Seven. Okay. Ninety one hours. Huh. Okay, so it might be a set number of pieces. Did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's do this again. Go back to walls, put some walls on here. This video is not going the direction that I wanted it to. Okay, five. I just want to see what it takes to get to that full 168 hours. We're gonna we're gonna cheese this there because I don't feel like making another. And see how it auto snapped the opposite opposite way. So um, 
that's something you got to be it'll it'll do it quick on you when you're trying to trying to hurry up and beat the sandstorm it'll it'll do it quick on you and right okay and then there you have there you have and now this should be whoa okay this is obviously not set to server server settings i'm on single player mode just so i can show you the um how the decay timer works and and the max decay timer on artificial i mean not artificial official server is 168 hours and i think it's 169 but it's always in countdown status so you'll see you'll see 168 with 57 minutes or whatever but um that that kind of gives you yeah 400 hours is nuts that's definitely not official server um timeline because that's that's like that's like a month. This won't decay for a month, basically. Okay, so so now we're gonna go into the the tier three piece. Now that I kind of you know went off on a little tangent on um, and you know these these also do your journeys as well. You can see where when I equipped it, it um, it did the journey. Okay. Here I'm going to do something different. Instead of just doing the, the four, I want to show you the, how the wedge incorporates. And so there's a few different uh, floor patterns that you can do that are... I'm going to move down a little bit. So this is your tier three. Okay. So you can do... See, I'm in, in the way, so there we go. And you can actually... Here's something else to talk about. When you're in the way and you try to snap a block, it won't snap again. See, I won't let me snap it. And the way that you fix that is you cycle through your material. So I'll go back to one and then back to three, and then now it'll snap. Um, I've seen where some people talk about uh, they log out and log in. Yes, that would fix it. So, um, But just move, move out of the way and then cycle through your materials and then come back to it. So there is a six-sided wedge now i could if i wanted to the advantage of this is i could wall it up and close it in and then as i want to expand i could come back and do another tier so the second rung of this is uh you're going to use some uh, square foundations and um go like this okay and then you close in the wedge that's not the wrong wrong one there, there we go right and then this gives you this gives you a pattern for your circle towers. And this is, you know, you can use this for drawbridges, you can use this for gates, and this is your kind of your fundamental. Now, there are a couple other variants of this, and this is kind of the most round, roundest version that you can get. And as you as you spread out though, it does get a little bit more, uh, the sides do square off a little bit. But it, for a true circular, this is probably as close as you could get. Now, there is, we're going to come over here. There is a couple other adaptations to this. Um, so, and whenever you build on a, on a hill, you always want to, I did it again. You always want to build, pull the block up as high as you can out of the ground. Um, Okay, so this time, this time I'm going to go, I'm continuing the square foundations out. And this, this, there's some advantages to this and it's easier, it's in some aspects, it's easier to build um, map rooms with this pattern. It, you, you can get away, uh, it's a little easier to kind of cheese the system. Um See, and I, I ran into issues there because now that is under, under the, um, under the sand. So I would have to. The, my way around that would be is I'd actually have to build, elevate this whole thing up one more higher tier, right? To get, and it becomes very, very, very material heavy to do this. Um, and so that's something you got to be cognizant of. You got to take a, a kind of an active look at this and be like, okay, is this is am I going to be able to get um, all three foundation pieces? You know, so it took it basically took me. I put four there. I want to go four. So am I going to be able to get all four foundation pieces? 
um, the trees are in the way. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta chop the tree down. Uh, I don't know if I could build that. Let me just go. And the panel pick, right? Um, resources, stone pick there. One stone pick. Okay. And then six. Okay. And then, so that's something, cause if I could, if I could have done the job with, with just the one, um, one set of foundations, I could have saved myself a bunch of resources that I could have ultimately put into the um, into the walls and the ceilings and the door frames and other structures. So it's important to take that into consideration. Um, so we're, I want to do four here. Why are, why are you being problematic? It's being it's being a problem child. Okay, let me cycle through. Hit the wrong. There we go. See now. So do you see how I fixed it? I just, it didn't want to go, but uh, so the, my way around it was I just cycled through the materials to get it to snap accordingly. Okay, and so now I have my four tiles out. Oh no, I'm missing this. And look at the amount of resources I got to do to keep this flat. Okay, so this, this now I could put a map room on this. Um, let me go to three and I'll start closing this in you can see this is this is the other kind of adaptation of and I might not do all this and the reason why I'm in I'm in flying mode is so that way you get a better view of kind of because if I was in standing you might I might not be the best representation of what's really taking place you know the way these tiles are snapping and how they're fitting together so I I, I wanted to make sure that you could see everything everything correctly in the the correct kind of um, placement of tiles and and you know the shapes kind of the pyramid shapes and so this just keeps stacking out and um, so to a certain degree the center of this is is the same right the center of this shape is the same for the first two rings but over here, the way that this would work is it, with this pattern, you would basically off your, you would triangle off your square instead of doing another square. And this, this will stay more true as, a, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. This will stay uh, more true as a, as a circle as long as you, um, keep with this this uh, block to wedge block to wedge block to wedge pattern um, where the other one it's once you break away from the first two circles you, you continue to go block 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 and wedge 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 see how it's block 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 and then wedges all the way out and in an indefinite like it never goes back where this one staggers it's block wedge block wedge block wedge and and so you can kind of see how, uh, and let me, let me try to finish this off because you'll see that it'll start to distort. Um, and I might have to jump back. I might just grab a different material. Okay, let's see if I got any wedges on me. Yeah, I got wedges. It's even though it's not the tier three, I st it's the, the geometry I'm trying to show you. And so that way, oh, someone's calling me. I'm popular. Okay, so you can definitely see how the geometry is um, I guess they're just gonna keep calling okay the that the geometry is uh, really starting to block out. It almost at this point is turning into a a square structure right and I'm, I'm almost done so I'm gonna close this off and then I'll place a map room on this so that way you can see what um, what it takes to get the map room to uh, fit because they, they say a map room is is uh, I believe it's nine tiles is the a nine a nine by nine square is the map room the problem with that is a map room isn't a square a map room is a circle so you you 
you want to engineer a circle for a map room. I mean, that's kind of my logic is, is I would want to kind of, if I'm going to build a tower, you know, a tower of power, right? Because all your infamous buildings in any type of fantasy movie are always towers. They're never, um, they're never, um, this last one's kind of getting me being a little turd. Okay. Okay. Come on, get in there. This doesn't want to, it's being, come on, it's being a problem. Shit. I might have to break one of these to get it. Come on. There it goes. Yeah, I have to just, just get it right to, I, I got to hold my mouth just right to get it in there. Okay. And then now, and you, but you can see though, the resources because, because I didn't plan this out or have start to just like, I could have technically done all of this in, um, I could have technically done all this in one row if I planned this out correctly. But since I just kind of haphazardly placed the blocks, um, it, It, you know, it's, it became expensive because I had to, on some of these, I'm building six foundations tall to get to this point. So that's something, oh shit, that's not what I, come on, I might have messed up. I might have, come on. Yeah, whenever you're building on side of cliffs and stuff and you're trying to close in gaps, um, it can be. It can be a little tricky. You're trying to, you see, I'm trying to snap, and it keeps trying to snap to like, to a lower level, or a snap. It goes to like the path of least resistance, and so you you got to be. Um, there we go, and I'll delete this. Okay, so now we have our full we have our full shape. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four five five rings and that's the way i measure these circles is by the number of rings because you can't really go nine by nine tiles so we have five rings right one two three four five so um so you have five rings and then um and you can do the same on this one but some of the issues that you, it, this actually is a better design because you're able to snap, on this one, you're able to snap um, draw bridges. And it's a, visually, it's a very appealing map room where this one, you have to build out quite a bit to get to the drawbridge phase. And then the issue that you have is um, some of the alignment doesn't work out as well as, it's, it's a little tricky. You have to play with it quite a bit to get to, get to the... Um, um, it's here. Let me, let me build, finish this off. So, uh, admin, right. And then build, we're going to go map. Okay. And then, um, okay. And then seven, and you can see where I have the map room. And what, one of the things that I always do is I always try to orientate the map to the actual world map. So I know there's a volcano. Can I see it from here? Let me fly up. Okay. Oh, you see, you can see over there in the horizon, the little the little peaks, the volcano, how the volcano has eroded the um, eroded the uh, the mountain in the background. Those tall spikes. That's that's the the top of the volcano. Okay. And then we have the Nubi River, right, that runs uh, east to west. Okay. So so it looks like. It looks like my volcano. Okay, and there's a bat tower. Okay, so so let me volcano is this way. So one of the things I always do is I line up the world map to the orientation of the, of of the the map table itself is kind of one of my key. It drives me nuts when people have so right there, and you can see how once I have it placed, once I have it placed. Okay, now I have enough room to run around it. Okay, this I, you know, this kind of drifted big time from my original kind of, um, but I felt it was important and it explains some of the mechanics of of the. Um, it explains some of the mechanics of uh, 
how the building blocks snap and you kind of get into the depth and also explains tier one, tier two, and tier three. And some of the issues that you run into on building some of your larger structures, if you don't, if you don't kind of plan out and have a little uh, foresight on how they're going to align. So uh, you get to, one of the ways you can get to just typing um, gate. And then, um, so I'll go gate and we're just going to use uh, reinforced. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, reinforced door and reinforced. I want, I want a couple of these. Okay. And there's a few options here. There's a few ways to do this. So uh, I'm also going to do door. Okay. So we have uh, reinforced doors. Okay. And then we just have, um, I like these, these heavy reinforced doors. I really like the way these look. So if you're going to place a door, you want to place the door on the, the square. Okay. And then you can do a, I like the gates and there's a little bit of logic behind the gates. Cause if you're just doing a map room, um, and you're not do you don't want to, you don't want to build anything. You want to protect the map room because the map room is one of the, the higher end, um, higher end resource, heavy building pieces in the game. And if you're playing on a PVP server and you build a map room, you run the risk of having your map room damaged and blown up. So normally what I do is I build my map rooms and I separate them off from my original building structure. So if they collapse my, collapse my tower of power, I don't also lose the map room. Um, so as a, as a, um, so seven, right? And then, so gates are really, really tricky. And so the same principles apply, and I'm trying to get this thing to snap, uh, trying to get this thing to snap. And somehow what I notice is it's easier to get it to snap if you look at it from a side angle. If I can get it, if I can place it from a side angle, um, and it has to be on the very, very edge. It doesn't want to go. If I, I thought I had it there. It's just, they're so finicky. But if I bring it in one, let's see if I can bring it in one. They're so, so finicky. It takes three triangles um, or three. I don't want to be here all day with this. Come on. So the problem with this is it's not. Come on. Right that, see, it's lined up. Man, why are you being such a pain? So you can pick up the map room. Let me pick it up. Okay, and let me see if this, hopefully this fixes the placement of, come on, man, see, that's the problem with these gates is they're like, they're like super finicky. Let me switch, that's like glitching out on me. Let me see. Come on, stop it. Stop it. There, there, oh, see, there we go. I just a big part of it is is my is my placement. See, that's not right. It really it really needs to be. Um, it really needs to be. See how it's not lined up. So I'm going to demolish it, and then um, this is not going like I wanted it to. Okay. So the beauty is to see on the on the earlier rung it fit because you have you have the five tiles makes five tiles wedge tiles makes it to where it fits a drawbridge, but for whatever reason it doesn't want to snap. I don't think I can get the I don't think I can get the um, I don't think I can get the the the, stuff, the map room to fit in here once I close this off though is the problem. I might be able to let's see. But these 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 gates are like super super finicky. Um, okay, so so I've closed this off. Let's bring my map room back. Okay, and go seven. It might not. Uh, it's very 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 touchy. Rotate the map right to the correct orientation. Now, if I if I put if I put doors on this, there's no way this would go. Why is it being such a problem, child? I think the issue is I might need to build it out one more rung. 
Yeah, I think I need to build it out one more rung. Okay, so let me go back to this. And this is the this is the beauty about getting into your single player mode, because you can you can um, figure out the geometry of some of these structures, and to see if they're going to work or not before you actually go out and harvest and then refine all these materials. And if you have some you know major infrastructure project, you're like, I don't know if it'll fit there. And does you know I'll go into single player mode. And then you can get it to work out. So if I think, I think, let me, go, let me do this. I'm going to do this real quick. Um, how many wedges? Okay, I got plenty of foundations. I need, I need some more wedges. We're just going to go one more rung out. I got to test, see if I can center, center that admin panel wedge. I've completely, you know, given up on the, like, maintaining maintaining the um, like actual so you'll go through a ton of wedges let me do this admin panel uh, I want to keep it keep it day day night I don't want to build in the dark okay so we're gonna just gonna go one more rung out on on this side because I don't feel like you know building the we're just seeing if I can if I can um, get this gate to, to act like it's supposed to, okay? And then gate, right, six. Oh, I think that's it, okay, that, that was it. And, and see, same thing, you see outer face there in the center? Okay, so you can get away with placing the map room with just doors with five, five tiles. If you wanna go with gates, you have to, you have to go six tiles. And then um, let me replace the map room, right? Let me fly up so you can see the orientation. Make sure, make sure that the uh, make sure the map is is uh, correct. Okay. And then I place it. Okay. So there you have it. So you can do a you can do um, five rings. Let you close it in with the door. Six rings. Let you close it in with gates. Because otherwise, you're not going to get the gates uh, to line up correctly. And then um, we can put the gate door on here. So, oh, that's the wrong. It's five. There we go. And now you have you have gates that open up to your map room, right? And then let's let's do, let's do this side too while we're here. And the beauty about the gates versus walls is gates have uh, tier three gates have two hundred thousand hit points, and so um, it's 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 pretty resilient. I think is a good way to put it. It's it's pretty these these gates are so tricky to snap. I mean, it's a big part of it is how you stand is is right, and then. Let's just do some walls. We're gonna do some walls. It doesn't matter what kind of walls they are. So I just want to show you. So that's definitely what I was talking about. If you're not, you got to pay attention. Even though the the gate is facing the right way, it wanted just for whatever reason, you know, it threw a gear in the works to um, to try to like sabotage me and and snap that damn um, wall the opposite direction. But as I, you know, hopefully this helps you as I go through some of these, um, shit. Okay, and then I'll close it off. So if I wanted to, if I always, on this pattern, I always put doors on the square foundations. Okay, damn it. A little bit of latency and it's wanting to snap to, it's wanting to snap to. And so here is, here is the uh, kind of give you an idea. And I would just close this off. And then I would put spiked uh, anti-climbing, um, anti-climbing. I have some other videos of, of this shape completed, but I wanted to go through the geometries, some of the issues of building uh, circular buildings. And so on this pattern, though, on this pattern, if you're going to put a door uh, on the second ring, I always put the doors and stairs on the wedges. And then on the third ring, I always put... 
uh, the doors and the foundations on um, on the square. So there's a little bit extra geometry that goes in the go when you're building up and the different things that take place. I got a whole bunch of videos that kind of explain this more in depth, but I wanted to break down the two the two fundamental shapes between um, well the, the two adaptations of circle structures and kind of how they're used and what they're for and um, I hope this video helps a lot. It gives you some more insight and understanding on building mechanics, uh, you know, hit points, decay timers, and etc. If you have any questions or, you know, if you go ahead and leave any feedback. Um, and always, please like and subscribe. You know, definitely um, participate. Thank you for watching.